Hey guys, I'm back with another episode of Bailey's Bleacher. Uh, let's talk about women's college basketball. So most recently, LSU's head coach Kim Mulkey announced that Angel Reese is finally off the suspension. Um, she's allowed to play in tomorrow's game against the number eight Virginia Tech. Um, she was suspended for two weeks for her attitude. Um, coach Mulkey did not really give any details on Reese's suspension and actually explained to the media in a press conference that happened today um, that what happens in the locker room stays in the locker room. She also noted basically that if Angel wants anyone to know what's happened, she's gonna have to share it herself. Um, Coach Mulkey explained that it's about basketball and nothing else. It's time to move past it, really. Um, personally, I think the suspension was solely based on Reese's attitude, um, but that's just my speculation. You never know what else could happen, but who knows? I mean, like, she's a great player, obviously, incredible athlete, but personally, I just, I don't care for how she carries herself. But that's none of my business. Um, but moving on, USC has a lot going on. So in 2022, Aaliyah Gales was shot multiple times. It was horrific, um, but USC honored her scholarship. Uh, she actually signed her letter of intent in the hospital in 2022, which is crazy, but she just scored her first points on the court as a USC Trojan. Um, it was really cool. Uh, so she got a three-pointer off and her teammates went crazy for her on the sideline. That is so exciting. Um, she is just really cool to watch on the court. She put in so much work to get back to playing the sport that she loves. And to do that at the collegiate level is incredible. And the fact that she's doing it at USC is even cooler. And I just, I can't wait to watch the rest of her career. It's going to be so cool to watch. Um, so USC also has a freshman who's going crazy on the court right now. If you don't know her name, you should. Uh, Juju Watkins has four 30-point games right now under her belt. Again, as a freshman, that is crazy. She's putting up threes. She is driving. She's doing pull-up jumpers. She is just so diverse in her scoring. Like, it's awesome to watch. Um, she's just incredible. She just beat Hall of Famer Lisa Leslie's record for 30-point games at USC as a freshman. Um, she holds that record now. I'm sure she's going to continue to break it, and her career is just going to be incredible to watch. So then moving on from USC, Caitlin Clark, she plays for Iowa. You know her, you love her. Um, she is continuing to be a threat on the court, as expected. Uh, she now actually has 40 30-point games during her career, and I'm assuming that number is going to continue to grow, which is so cool. Her range is just so insane. She's pulling up for threes all the way by half court. She's awesome. Um, she also holds the new record uh, for the most 30-point games in Division I women's college basketball history, which is also really cool. She's just going to continue to set that record um, for players behind her, and it's just going to be cool to watch who comes and breaks that one next. So now I want to talk about some of the upsets that happened in women's college basketball, and they happened right in the first week. So right out of the gate, number 20, Colorado beats number one, LSU. They beat them 92-78 to 78 right at the beginning of this month. It was in the Hall of Fame series. Um, that is just crazy. That's That blows my mind. Like, that's just crazy. You have LSU, who at the time had Angel Reese and all these other amazing athletes, and you get beat by number 20. Then you have NC State, who beats number 2 UConn, 92-81. to 81. Like, I know both of these are old news, but both these scores just blew my mind, and it was right in week one that you have a number 20 team beating a number one team, and then the number two team gets taken down. Like, it is just crazy. Crazy sport. Um, so now let's move on to, like, what's coming up with schedules and rankings and whatnot. So there's actually some games going on right now as I'm recording this. I have all the scores pulled up on my screen right now. It's crazy. There's actually 68 games going on right now at the Division I level in women's college basketball, and 10 other games have already happened today, which is crazy. So you have 78 games going on today at the Division I level. I am not covering them. <laughs> that is crazy. Uh, so if you want to hear about those games, maybe go check ESPN or Sports Center. Not that they're going to cover them anyway, unless there's like a crazy upset, or unless they were men. Anyway, um, let's talk about the rankings. Um, so the Associated Press top five right now is we have number one, South Carolina. Uh, then they have UCLA at number two. Um, they have Stanford at number three. 
Iowa is sitting right at number four and NC State is at number five. So past the top five, at number six, they have USC, and then they have LSU and Colorado tied right now at number seven, which is just crazy. Again, Colorado was ranked 20, and LSU was ranked number one, so whew, wild stuff. But this is why I love basketball. Like, you never know what's going to happen, and really, you could say that for any sport. Um, but conference play hasn't started yet, but we do have multiple teams who are undefeated right now. So five of the top six teams are undefeated. Iowa is the only top six team right now that has a loss. Um, I, but I can't wait for conference play to start up. I think this season is going to be wild. I think, I think there's going to be more upsets. I think more records are going to be broke. It's just, it's such a great sport. I love basketball. I actually played all throughout high school and then I played for three years of college. It is a toll on your body. So I love talking about it now, but my body could just not handle it anymore. Um, that's actually one of the reasons that I didn't end up playing my senior year. Um, we're not going to talk about the other reasons, at least not today. <laughs> but, you know, college basketball season is underway and it is going to be an exciting ride. Um, so that's all I have today for Bailey's Bleacher. Stick around for next time and we're going to talk about some more sports.